Imagine cutting your workload in half by automating your daily tasks. I'm going to show you how to seamlessly connect Airtable to Zapier so you can turn hours of manual work into automated workflows. So here I have an empty Zap and show you guys how all this kind of works and how Airtable and Zapier actually interact with each other. We're going to use a super simple example. The example I'm going to use is an inbox manager. So if you don't know, right, businesses are often flooded in their inbox with a bunch of customer inquiries and this starts to get very cumbersome for business owners because either they have to do it or their employees have to do it or, you know, sometimes things are forgotten. So the way we get around this is by using Airtable to actually store the data of the email. So I'm going to show you guys how to do all this. Don't worry if you don't know how this works. And more importantly, we're going to use AI to classify the severity of the email. So if you have someone like, I have an urgent matter where I need your company's help. My operations are an absolute mess and I want to fix them right now. Can you please help me? The severity should be high, right? I made this before the video. Um, or if you have someone like, hey man, this is not working. Could you take a look whenever you get time? Maybe this is more like a medium or like a low. The point is now that it's an air table, we can start actually doing things. We can start assigning it to different people. We can have a checkbox to, you know, say that it's complete, all that stuff, right? But it starts with getting this in the actual air table in the first place, which is why we're using Zapier. So to start off with, we want to pick a trigger. In our case, it's going to be a new email is coming to us because every time a new email comes to us, we want to put this in our table, right? So that's why it's a trigger. I'm going to go to Gmail because that's the email that I personally use. You can use whatever you want. Um, if this is not linked together, make sure to sign in and then the credentials and everything should be taken care of. The event that I want to pick is a new email comes in my inbox and let's hit continue label or mailbox. If you want to like classify it by certain labels or by certain mailbox, if you have multiple mail mailboxes, you can do that as well. Click continue here and if I test the trigger here, the most recent email is the one I sent to myself, which is email C and you'll notice it says, hey Jeet, I need immediate help. My operations are an absolute mess I need to, and I'm working 10 hours, seven days a week, whatever, right? So um, that's this email over here is the most recently sent email and we've got a bunch of information here but really the only thing we care about is this actual raw body here and who it's sent by. So, you know, like the name, the email, the customer request. Like, again, you can use this with whatever you want and you can add whatever data you want as well, but I'm just trying to keep it simple so you guys see how this works. Uh, we're gonna add a touch of AI here by classifying what severity it is. So you don't need to kind of do this, but I'm doing this because uh, many business owners will actually find this useful. So I don't know why I just click Airtable. Let me delete this and let's add open AI. So I'm going to use ChatGPT because that's what most people are familiar with, but you can also use Claude, uh, Mistral, Grok, it doesn't really matter. So the event that I want to pick here is going to be send a prompt, right? This is the equivalent of going to ChatGPT and clicking enter for whatever your request is, but instead in the API it's called send prompt. If your account is not linked over here, then you have to click sign in and you will probably have to enter your API token. So let me show you how to do that real quick. If you go to this URL over here and click on create new seeker key, um, type in a name like Zapier testing for YouTube and click create secret key. You're going to get this key over here. Go back to Zapier and when you click on sign in, you're going to have to enter this key in. After you click submit, then you'll, your accounts will be linked together. You will be charged for this API, but it's very cheap. It's frankly like less than a couple cents or even a cent for that matter if you really use it. So that should be no issue. From here, I'm going to click continue. I'm just going to breeze through this part because this video is not about AI. It's about Airtable. So I'm just going to Paste this prompt here, classify the severity of the following email from low, medium, and high in exactly that order with the emojis because um, that's what we have as a drop down in Airtable as well. That is important, otherwise it'll throw an error and it'll kind of mess things up. And the email that we're trying to classify is going to be from the email we get from here. So I'm just going to do body plan because that is the raw email, right? Hey Jeet, I need immediate help. Hey Jeet, I need immediate help over here. So that is good. Temperature is fine. Doesn't really matter too much. Top P, all that stuff. Let's keep it default. And if I test run this email over here, what I'm going to get or what I should get is high severity, right? Because I need immediate help. Um, my operations are an absolute mess. Working 10 hour days, seven days a week. And I need your help on this thing. Whenever you get time, reach out to me. So um, the response we get back from OpenAI is going to be high, which is correct, right? So the response is when you click enter on chat GPT, the, the text you get back from AI, that is what the response is. So that all looks good. Let's keep going. The final module is going to be Airtable. So if you haven't signed into your account yet, make sure to sign in, make sure those two things are linked up. And from here in action event, I'm just going to click create record. There's also create or update record. So if a record exists and it matches that name, then it'll automatically update it. Otherwise it's going to create it. You can delete a record. You can update a record, right? This is where things are. You can do whatever you want, right? Airtable's API is very flexible for base. I'm just going to click YouTube demo and the table is just going to be this table over here. Table one, right? That's how those two things line up. 
and um, the name is going to be the name that I got from my email itself. So if I type in slash, go into my new email, and if I look for um, from name, right? This is who that who the actual email is from. That's the name field over here. Email is just going to be the email itself. So if I do slash from email, so this is going to be the email that it's from. So the customer email itself, that is this field. And finally, the customer request is going to be um, this body here, right? Body plan, that is just this raw text over here, right? And then severity, we got that from OpenAI, from ChatGPT. So I'm just going to go to send prompt here, get the response. Looks like it's high, which is correct. Uh, you will have to make sure that if it's a multi-select or single select that it matches exactly or else Airtable will not be happy with you and the request won't go through. So from here, I'm going to click continue and let's just test this out. So if I click test step, you're going to notice over here, a new record should form. We're kind of just waiting for it to do its thing. Right, as it refresh the page there, but you're going to notice the name from the email, Jeet Sangam Nerker, um, the email itself, which is my email, um, and then the customer request, which is, I mean, I'm pretending to be the customer over here, so that's this, and a message like this should be high severity. So there you go. That's how you connect Zapier with Airtable. Um, it's really straightforward. Most of the time you're going to be creating records, deleting records, or updating records, right? You're not really going to go into the, any of the other API calls. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and feel free to comment below any questions you have. Oh, and one last thing. If you want to see how I actually automate an inbox manager for a business, that means like actually replying to your customer's email live 24-7 for you, watch this video over here. Bye.